Hello and welcome to my basic decimation guide. So, decimation is a feature you can use in ZBrush to reduce the poly count of an object. It's especially useful for reducing very high poly count objects so that you can then export that decimated model and use that for baking. If you don't know what baking is, uh, baking is taking a very detailed model uh, like this one in this case and mapping the model's details onto a lower poly UV'd model. And the purpose of this is so that if you use that model in a game or in some other form of media, it'll be very efficient and it will be low poly with the details of the high poly. So decimation is one of the first steps to getting to your bake. So to activate decimation, you can go to Z plugin, click on decimation master, and this will pull this down. So in order to decimate, the first thing you need to do is pre-process current or all. Uh, current is just the current active thing. So in this case, it's this model right here. And pre-process all will pre-process all visible subtools. And, and note that it's visible. So like if you have this unchecked and you have another model and you're selecting this one it will not and you go to pre-process all it will not process the invisible models so pre-processing essentially analyzes the mesh and then once you're ready to decimate you can click on decimate so in this case we will pre-process current so right now it's going to go through something you have to kind of leave it alone for like a minute or so and it'll tell you the progress up here so it's processing all of this model's information. And then once that's done, then you can just decimate current. And the way decimation works is it's by percentage. So if you decimate to 20%, it will take your model and put it at 20% of that model's uh, density. So if you have a million polys, it'll put you at 200K. Uh, if you decimate by 50%, it will take it from 1 million polys to 500k. So that's an easy way to look at it, to, to remember what that actually means. So when we go to the percentage of decimation, that's what that means. And then you can actually see the effect. So we, it hasn't happened yet. You can click on this. You can see the density. And you can turn the line on and off and the fill on and off. So if you accidentally turn this off, like if you turn the fill off, you click this little tiny button here you can see the density. So now we're going to decimate this. So Z plugin, decimate current. So we're gonna be setting it to 20% of 1.8 mil rounded up. So let's decimate it. So here's the result. We're now at 350K polys. So that's 20% of the polys we had before. Now this model will be easily exported to bake. And the, uh, one of the big upsides, there's a few big upsides of uh, decimating you can bake with a hot, like a super detailed model, but if you decimate it, it's it exports the, it exports faster, the file size is smaller, and then it imports to your baker faster. So if you're using Substance Painter to bake, or if you're using Marmoset Tool Bag to bake, or whatever 3D software, like texturing software you use to bake, it'll import faster because it's lighter. So that's the big upside. And if you have a model that's like five to 20 mil polys, that's extremely detailed, you will want to decimate that thing. <laughs> so that's what decimation does. This is just one of the first steps. And you can see we really haven't lost any detail. And I can I turn this on so you can see what it actually does to the model. It basically looks at detailed sections like, like these plane changes and tries to keep them consistent while also adding like large triangles where it can to reduce the model's density. So it's much faster. It's 20% of its original um, size. Uh, so now what we can do is I will rename this egg monster underscore high. This is just a good practice. And then I will duplicate it. And then we can make the underscore low and that'll be the next video showing how to use Z remesher, which is gonna be a lot faster than this one. And then if you wanna export this high, uh, you can go to Export, oh, that's export tool, I'm sorry. File, or no, uh, <laughs> sorry, Z plugin, FBX import export. 
and then you can just click on export and save it to wherever you want to. And then just keep track of where that file is because we're going to be using it later for a future tutorial to bake if you're following through all the videos in sequence. Uh, but yeah, that's it for Decimation Master. It's pretty useful. And another thing that's cool, let's say you don't like this result, you can hit Control Z to undo. And we go back to Decimation Master. Let's say you want to decimate it even further. You can type in like 10 for 10%. Decimate current. Uh, okay, it's not gonna... I have to re-analyze um, it because I committed the change. So you just have to pre-process current again and then decimate it that. And you can always step forward. So it's, this is, if you if you uh, turn undo history off, you can always still use this while you're using ZBrush. It has like so many steps of undo history. But if you turn it off, um, when you save the file, you'll lose it, so. But we're pretty much done with this model, I would say. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Decimation Master. This, we made this in a tutorial series from scratch from a sphere for like intro to basic sculpting and I did some techniques. If you're wondering what this is, <laughs> it's a little egg creature that I made from a sphere. All right, so that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe if you found this useful. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. And also definitely feel free to suggest video topics for 3D for tutorials to cover and I'll see you in the next one.